I'm gonna get started today on getting the tent built for our brassica beds, for our cabbage and our broccoli. And if you guys followed us last year in our gardening adventures, we bought these, um, well, actually, I'll show you some footage here. Uh, tents that fit over top of our raised beds. They're four by eight. They come with a netting that goes over the top that zips up as well as like a clear plastic greenhouse material. And the place we got them from, I think it was Gardner Supply Company, and they were on the expensive side. Uh, they were like $140 a piece or something like that. And we thought at first, we're like, okay, that's expensive, but this could be a good investment. We'll keep using them year after year. Well, the nettings that goes on top of them, after one season, it was all ripped up and half the zippers were broke. Cabbage moths got in and caused damage. So it was the opposite of what we wanted. So we ended up throwing away the netting that went over the top, but we saved the frames. We're gonna reuse them this year, build the two frames, put them side by side, we're gonna to try to connect the two together and then we're just gonna get some ag fabric and, and run it over the top and put some rocks around to hold it down. So hopefully that'll work out. I just have to, this is a lot of pieces and parts. I got two buckets like this that are filled with pieces and one in my pocket. I have to try to figure out if I can remember how to put these things back together. That side needs to go that way. Just a tiny bit. Okay. So these things are only like eight feet this way. And this whole bed was eight, 16, 24 feet. So there's an eight foot gap here in the middle. But we want this whole thing covered with ag fabric. So what we're gonna do, we bought some of this. You guys caught that video the other day. Said, what are we gonna do with the pipe? We're gonna try to zip tie these to here to try to give the ag fabric something to rust on. There'll be one there, one there, and then one on the other side over there. Hey, not too bad of a sag. Yeah, I think it'll work too. I hear the rooster up there. Mm -hmm. Keeps yelling. I think he's a man now. No. <laughs> Someday, maybe. Maybe he hasn't even gone through puberty. He's going through it. <laughs> well, it is finally time to plant my broccolis and my cabbages. This is one of my red cabbages. I grew this from seed. So exciting. Sorry about the wind. Um, but I need to get these in the ground and they are ready. The forecast looks great. So I think I have way more than I can fit in this little space, but we're gonna see how much we have and anything extra I'll just give away. So let me bring you guys down and show you my spacing. So that's what I'm going for about 12 to 18 inches apart and staggered. All right, so with my hori hori, I'm just gonna Pull back the soil a little bit and make a little space in there. But I can pop in my start to the cabbages. I'm adding, oh, probably like a quarter cup or so, maybe a little shy of that, of blood meal. Put the plug in and spread my soil back around. That's it. So I'm gonna do green cabbages down the back side, broccoli in the middle, red cabbages in the front.
right, last but not least is the row of broccoli centered in between the cabbages. And to each one of those, I'm giving my um, BioLive. So just maybe a couple teaspoons of BioLive to it. Again, just excellent, excellent roots. So happy. If you guys are just now finding me here at that 1870s homestead, and my name's Rachel, and uh, I just started teaching myself to grow my own starts from seeds last year. And last year I killed all my cat baby cabbages and broccolis when they were just baby, baby seedlings. And uh, just gave them too much heat and these are a cold hardy crop. So this year I did it differently and I started my seeds without any heat, without any extra humidity, um, just under grow lights and it worked wonderfully. Three more to go. So all in all, I got um, 12 broccoli, 12 green cabbage, 12 red cabbage. So thanks guys. I hope you stick around, follow along on how this year's cabbage growing in Nebraska protection goes with our new expanded trellis. And I'll see you guys back here in the garden sometime soon. Happy growing where you are.